Hi there folks, in this video we're going to take a look at how to change the Maya startup screen. Now, why might we want to do this? Honestly, mostly as a novelty. But in some studios where multiple versions of Maya are in use, changing the startup screen can be used to designate between a core version of the app and a version which is undergoing testing to ensure compatibility in a pipeline. So the first thing we have to do is we have to navigate to this directory here. So we're going to go to C, Program Files, Autodesk, go into the Maya version that you have. In my case, this is Maya 2020, and then go into the Icons directory. In this directory, if you scroll down, you're going to look for three images called mayastartup.png, mayastartup underscore 150, and underscore 200.png. The 150 and 200 are linked to the UI scale, so in my case, I'm going to be using the Maya startup image underscore 200. Now, it's important to duplicate this file and make a backup because in order for this to work, we have to replace this file in this directory with our custom image. And if we want to revert back to the original, we would have to reinstall Maya if we didn't have a copy saved on our system. Once you've done that, go to Photoshop and make your custom version of the startup screen making sure not to alter the dimensions. And then once you're happy, save that somewhere on your hard drive. In my case, I'm going to be saving it on the desktop. And the reason for doing this is that we're not going to be able to save this directly into that directory. We actually have to give permission for Windows to do so. So I'm going to minimize Photoshop here. We're going to bring over a copy of my image and go back to the directory. So now that I have my image saved, I'm going to drag this into the icons directory and it's going to ask me if I want to replace the file and then it's going to ask me to provide administrator access so hit continue that will copy and you'll see that that's now been replaced now if I go ahead and double click on Maya you can see that our startup screen has now been changed okay folks so hopefully that was helpful if so please like and subscribe Thanks for listening, and I will see you in the next video.